adrenaline pumping, they ran the gauntlet. With the Indonesian Navy in tow, the plan was for the Freedom Flotilla to act as a decoy. When the shipping lane splits into two, you'll stay to the east of the far right one. Two tiny boats slipped away underneath the radar. Meeting near the Australia-Indonesia border, ceremonially reconnecting the Australian and West Papuan indigenous peoples. The Australians handed over sacred water and ashes from tent embassies. And Arabana elder Kevin Buzzacott issued specially made Aboriginal or Original Nations passports. The ceremony was the pinnacle of a 5,000 kilometre journey beginning at Lake Eyre. So by this event we keep continue our link. We are one people, one soul and one nation. The Indonesian military had warned they weren't welcome. They threatened to use lethal force despite activists holding out an olive branch and trying to negotiate. And that's just reflect the reality of what's happening in West Papua when the West Papua leaders calling out for a peaceful dialogue with the Indonesian government, they're not willing to come out and establish that dialogue. West Papua has a long and bloody history of what the activists say is a legitimate struggle for freedom and justice under talk? Indonesian military you occupation. You stand for uh, help people of West Papua. Organizers say they hope the stunt will pressure Australia into action to stop oppression in its neighborhood. Gary Cox, World News Australia.